Let me introduce you to electric potential. Before proceeding, make sure to review work and potential energy from mechanics and then the topic of the electric field. Electric potential, in turn, will lead into the topics of capacitance and circuits. Electric potential will be significant in understanding the use of batteries or other voltage producing devices in circuits or other applications. Recall from mechanics that energy is a measure in a change in the system. For mechanical energy, we computed this as the sum of the work delivered by the forces acting on the object through the distance the object travels. When the force or the path taken were variable, we calculated this as the integral of the force function dot product with the path. For the force produced by electric charges, known as the Columbic force, the calculation is the same. Just like its mechanical equivalent, the work calculated for electric forces is still a scalar and its units are still in joules. Let us now combine the definition for work with our expression for the electric field. Remember, the electric force and the related quantity electric field is governed by Coulomb's law. The Coulombic force and the electric field are proportional to the charge and inversely proportional to the distance squared. Let's apply this to derive the mathematical formula for the work done on a charge moved by a columbic force, hence undergoing a change in electric potential energy.
This is analogous to the derivation for gravitational potential energy. So you should check back on the topics that derive this and give you the visuals of the analogies. Electric potential energy is therefore proportional to the product of the charges involved and inversely proportional to the distance between them. This is still a scalar quantity measured in joules. Let us now examine the changes through the events regardless of the magnitude of charge being moved. This is known as the test charge treatment, which is similar to the test mass treatment from mechanics. It assumes that the particle we are observing is not significant enough to alter the field responsible for its change. The change in electric potential is defined as the change in electric potential energy divided by that charge. This is a scalar quantity and the new units equivalent to joules per coulomb are known as volt. There are ways to visualize electric potential that are analogous to how one visualizes the behavior of test masses in a gravitational field. Again, you are encouraged to check out the additional video relating gravitational to electric quantities. As a brief summary of the relationship, in a gravitational field, a topographic map can be used to predict changes in the speed of a test mass as it changes height in a gravitational field. The following visual examples were made using the simulator from phet.colorado.edu. In this visualization, you will see the direction 
of the electric field displayed in a grid of arrows where the brightness of arrows represent electric field strength. For a singular positive charge, the electric field is pointing away from it and the strongest closest to the charge. The electric field drops off as distance squared while potential drops off with distance to the first power. Because potential changes with distance only, in this example, we can draw a series of circles, each representing a line where the potential is the same. These are known as equipotential surfaces. Relating this to our topographical map analogy, these would be equivalent to the topographical height lines you see on maps. because equipotential surfaces by definition are contours along which the potential is the same and the electric field gives you the direction of the changes in potential The equipotential surfaces and the electric field are perpendicular to each other at all points. If you were to relate this to a topographical map, think about that change in speed. If you were to walk along the same height around a mountain, you would not change speed. Whereas the greatest acceleration you would get is along the greatest slope down the mountain. Of course, the electric field and hence voltage is not just a series of discrete lines, rather it is a continuous field. The PHET simulator will help you visualize this. It is important at this point to remember that electric fields are vectors proportional to the strength of the charge. 
In this example, I have tripled the strength of the electric field by tripling the charge. Notice this will also triple any voltage. In the electric field treatment, also remember that we added up the strength of the field using vector addition. Potential, however, is a scalar, hence, it only cares about the initial height versus the final height. It does not care about the path, just the initial and final potential surfaces. Remember also that just like with electric fields, electric potential can also be defined for continuous charges. Again, the significance of voltage will become a lot more clear once you have practiced calculating it for various charge distributions and then followed up on topics involving voltage sources such as batteries and then leading into the topics of capacitance and circuits.